guys, I just wanted to get one done with a purchase today. I got me some walnut bread. I got me some broccoli in the pot. And cheese. And we made it in a little paper plate. Nobody likes to wash plates. Mm -hmm. And then, but they wash for the kiddo. And then more vegetable to make salad. Make salad. I was getting up do without Milo. Elbow power. This is the best thing to clean it, guys. Fabulosa. Make your house smell good. And this is the to-go. This right here, the caramel, the caramel dip. Nice with some crackers. Yeah. And cheese. So free. Last but not least, and shake it. And shake it. I forgot, guys. I purchased these little hand towels right here for the bathroom. And then, remember, as you can see, I got my plug it in. I like this scent for real. It's the fresh linen. It's very good. Love the smell. So, yes, guys. Baby. So guys, I just whipped this salad up. Um, yes, I had to take it to church. We have an event today. Um, so you guys are gonna come with me. So I just made this salad. I'm gonna get dressed right now because I'm late. So y'all gonna dress with me and come with me. Okay guys, see you in a minute. My baby's cooking macaroni. Um, macaroni and cheese from scratch you couldn't wait until i come back because we should have been cooked together while her meal prepping is cooking but he have milk in there he have sour cream and then he's gonna put butter in there and this is my man in the kitchen yeah, some cheese it's my man in the kitchen right here what else you have baby uh, some cheese gonna have some cheese in it okay Which, which let me let me rephrase it. I am not always late. I'm always late for my function, but when it's time for work, I'm always on time. It is so funny. I'm always on time. I don't know why. I don't know how that happened, but it always happened for me. So I was supposed to reach at the um, relaunch at 3 p.m. Guys, you know what time is it now? It's 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. But you know what? My Saturday is so full because guess what? I have so many things to do. Because
because today is my only day off for real. My only day off. Because Sundays I'm back in church and my whole day. So I try to use Saturday to do everything that I need to do to get reset for the whole week. And sometimes it don't happen for real because by, the, by Monday come, I'm so tired. Back to work, tired, tired, tired. If that's you guys, put it in the comment section. Trust me, I have not meal prep yet and it's 3 o'clock. And as I said, tomorrow is out of the question. But I'm going to have to try to, when I come back from this event, I'm going to try to do as much as I can. I'm not doing a lot because I'm just doing salad this week for real. Yeah. But you guys, it's a whole lot. So, I woke up tired because um, for y'all, for who knows and for who does not know, didn't know, does not know, didn't know. Um, this morning at 2 o'clock, I took Hobby to the airport because the other time. And um, I don't like to drive on highways. I do not like to drive on highways, especially I'm, I'm at nighttime. Places that I don't know, I don't like to go to. So, Lord, I'm just asking the Lord to just take the wheel to just be with me last night when I dropped him off and coming back home. I didn't reach back home until 4 a.m. in the morning. 4. Which the airport is like an hour and change from us for real. And me, like Miss Daisy, I'm just driving like an old lady <laughs> for real because, as I said, especially I don't know the 285. I do not know it. And I don't because I don't take it regular. So I really don't know it. So, um, I was like, I'm taking my own time. I don't care who want to blow me. I'm going to be in the middle lane. And I'm going to take my time to go where I'm going for real. Take me home safe and sound. As long as I take long, but guess what? I was safe. Because I came back home in one piece. Because people cannot drive. People doing like 100 miles per hour on the highway for real. And I'm like, bro, really? So, yeah, guys, so... And I did not sleep yet because I could not sleep. Because I don't know for some people, I don't know for, for me, when my husband is not home, I can't sleep. And it's the same for him. It's like we you get used to each other so much. It's like, I'm going to take this because the line is so long and I have place to go for real. The traffic, bad. So I could not sleep. And then I finally got some, I finally were, were falling into those like at six o'clock. And then when I, it's like I fall into a dose and then when I look up and I look at the clock and it's like, oh, it's 6 a.m. All right then. So, okay, I put back my head down and say, okay, I'm going to try to see if I could get a little bit of a sleep, smooth. Eight o'clock, my phone ring. Guess who called me, guys? My brother. So my brother called me. I'm going to ask y'all something. My brother, tell y'all something. My brother called me. I'm all the way up here, how many hundred miles away. And he's in Florida. And he's going to call me and ask me for my husband. Where's your husband? Where's Lennox? And I was like, I don't know. He said, I'm at the gate waiting for him because they're both going, going down together for real to Jamaica. And he's like, I'm at the gate and he's not here and it's and it's like I don't know call him on his cell phone so y'all tell me how men think for real because they think that we supposed to do everything for them it's crazy because I'm up here in another state and I'm supposed to know where he's at I already dropped him off at the airport I don't know so I have to call Bay now and I'm like Bay where you at so he pick up the phone he have two phones and I was like why are you not answering the phone the, the number that you give her give to everybody you're not answering that phone why is that phone is on silent and the phone the phone that nobody knows the number is the one that's that's up so i call him on the second phone and i got him and it's like really y'all make me lose my sleep for he's gonna be like oh i was getting something to eat okay all you have to do is just phone call away and say i'm at the airport i'm getting something to eat so I'm going to meet you up in a few minutes, whatever. Don't have get a third party for me. <laughs> Why y'all have to put me in the middle? So from then, I have not fall back asleep. I have to get up. Then, you know, the, the norm. Clean my house for real. And um, go to the store. As y'all see, 
in the video what and what I got um, I went to go purchase and stuff like that so no I am at my going to my event so the event that I'm going to is, is at church because I'm highly um, um, what's what what am I looking for I'm highly into my church so I take parts in a lot of stuff in church for real because I love the woman who I have become for real I'm coming from a long way and you know what I'm saying when you reach a certain time in your life you have to tell yourself that the things that you used to do then you don't do no more because you have kids and you want your kids to live by your example so um, I'm in church and I'm very much so involved that's the word I was looking for involved but you know sometimes you're talking it's like the word cannot come to you for real so involved so um today is March the 16th we are gonna relaunch our marriage ministry okay where are you going okay right here so I'm going this way so we're gonna relaunch our marriage ministry because um you know I'm I'm a newlywed so um because I'm a newlywed because it's just two years two years in so basically I'm a newlywed know my husband for all my life but I have to give you that another time in another video or we met and stuff like that but anyway um so we have to understand that every day we learn about each other and we grow with each other for real so um, the marriage ministry is for us to teach each other so that I don't know they teach me maybe I can give an input because I'm still young in it but um, we learn because marriage take a lot of works it's not just being with a person for real and just saying that okay we're married it take works and if you don't have patience you give up easily for real so when you get married you have to put your heart your mind your soul and first and foremost you have to put jesus in it because without him it's nothing for real because your your, your faith is so tested numerous of times and you want to just be like i'm gonna i'm gonna throw in the towel but are you gonna throw in the towel for just a little miss mishap so if we can talk it out and if we could have somebody to just say okay why don't you try this then to see if this work um you understand what i'm saying you just never know you can learn from that person so this is all that this marriage ministry about and to see how we know each other for real oh every couple know know their spouse do you know my bra size do you know my shoe size do you know if i snore at night do you know what my favorite color is do you know my favorite food and vice versa so yes yeah, so it's gonna be very interesting i'm gonna see if i could vlog i'm not sure but i'm gonna see if i could vlog in there if i can then you guys will see a little clips of what we do for real and what's going on so you yeah, guys i do not want to talk too much which i've been talking but i'm gonna take you all with me as i said i'm late it's 307 and the clock in my car is at 207 so um i didn't change it yet and every time i look at it i was like okay i'm i'm early but no, I have to be mindful that is one hour behind. <laughs> that's the whole time. But yeah, guys, I was rushing. That's the quickest show I ever took in my life because I was like, I'm supposed to be a leader and I'm supposed to be there on time and I'm late. So I'm not setting no example. It's crazy. So I could not show y'all guys, but I know y'all see this outfit already because I wore it already. I think this is my third time wearing it and who cares? It's mine. I bought it. Don't remember where I got it from, but I bought it. But anyway, guys, I'm on my way. Um, this is all my Saturday is going. It's going good so far, but I'm just tired. I need a getaway. I think I just need a getaway just to just do me and to take everything off my plate. I don't have to think about no housework. Don't have to think about nothing at all. Just just to do me. I didn't put on no, I don't wear makeup, but no, no lip gloss no nothing i didn't put on because i was um i'm so in a hurry so but i but i have to um these people do not respect the four-way sign they, they don't respect four-way sign it's kill me all people drive for real <sighs> they give me they give my anxiety so bad 
that's why I don't like driving because they give me anxiety yeah this person stop in the middle of the road I guess they're from out of town they don't know where they're going they stop in the middle of the road and there's incoming traffic oh you're gonna stop right there that, that's the thing that I'm talking about oh people just cannot drive for real <sighs> but anyway guys <laughs> this is how my day is going it's going good so yeah because I'm alive God wake me up this morning and some people is not above ground for real there's if you make a phone call and you hear how many things happen from the day start you're gonna be so shocked for real so I have to thank God I'm tired but I'm just thanking him that I'm, I'm above ground and all things are possible as long as he's in it yes guys so come with me I have like 10 more minutes to read shirts so maybe 315 I'm gonna read I don't do nothing with my life all I do is work church <laughs> and home yeah is that bad no it's not because when I was younger I do the road I was on the road so this is the time of my life now when I'm you know what I'm saying mellow me down and I love it so yes guys I'm gonna show you the beautiful um, trees that we have I'm telling you the flowers are so beautiful stay tuned Go ahead. Um, how long you're married for? I've been married for 51 years now. That's good. And what and what it, um what is the 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 one of the best thing that you you can ever say in your life that you enjoy with your wife? One of the best things I enjoy in life to be my wife is we are always together, almost all 51 years. Blessing. Awesome. So guys, I made it to church and I had to tell you this one thing is I thought I was late. I thought I was late. But when I got here, it's only a few people, a few handful of people. So I don't feel that bad. I feel bad, but I don't feel that bad. And it's um almost 3.30. We're supposed to start at 3 o'clock. That means it's not going to end on time. So yes, guys, so, but stay tuned. We're going to have some good time. You know what I'm saying? Because as I said, um, there's people who have been married in the church for 50 something years, 60 something years. That's a long time. So I just going to try to see if I could get their feedback to give me like two things of, um, and their marriage for real, what it means to them and how long have they been married for. So stay tuned guys. This is, this is, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna tell, I'm gonna ask you the question. Okay. So, how long have you been married, Dr. White? 
he's first or oh, 47 years i'm sorry guys to cut you because guess what he's one of the elder of the church so this is dr white tuning into my channel so he been married for 47 years and dr white can you give me one good thing about your marriage that's awesome that's very good thank you so much that's all i need okay. so guys this is um a mother of the church i love her to death love her so much she made the best dumpling ever <laughs> so i have i have two questions for you how long have you been married 51 years oh my god that is awesome and what is marriage mean to you Oh, marriage means greatness to me, fellowship, relationship, and trust, confident, lovey-dovey. You can go everything. on and on. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. You're the mother of my life. So, other mother, two questions. How long have you been married? 48 years. 48? That's a long time. And what did marriage mean to you? Everything. That is good. Yes. 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 We have to be. We have to be sure. Communicate. We have. We have to have communication. Yes, ma'am. Yes. We just to be there for each other. Yes. Bad time, bad time. We have to be there for each other. Yes. No matter what it takes. Yes. We have to be there for each other. By the grace of God. Amen. Thank you, mom. Thank you. So here you go guys, um, welcome back to my channel and I want to ask these two beautiful, amazing couple, two questions. So the one question for you, Sister Dana, how long have you guys been married? So we've been married uh, for 18 years. This September will be 18 years. Oh wow, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. So what is the one thing you love about your husband? Well, there are several things, but the biggest thing is how much my husband loves me. Ooh, that is so good. Like, uh, you know, growing up, my mother always told me, make sure you marry someone who loves you more than they love themselves. And I feel like that's how my husband is with me. Like, there's nothing that he wouldn't do for me. Oh, so, that is so awesome. I'm grateful. Thank you, Sister Dana. And to the Ubi. Uh-huh. What is the one thing you love about your wife? Oh, Lord of mercy. And a lot of things. <laughs> but the special thing I love about her, mm -hmm. oh, Lord, she takes good care of me. Oh, that's amazing. She loves with your heart. I'm that's telling amazing. you, we just, we just connect like that. That's it's like good. God put us together. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm grateful for her. That's good. Give her a kiss. We're choice. grateful. Give her a kiss. Uh, awesome guys thank you very much thank you guys you okay. have a blessed day okay you thank too. you all to tune into the channel uh, tune, in. <laughs> tune in to the who tune joy in. of um, joy, jo official joy channel that, yep official Pizza. dot joy right <laughs> official <laughs> joy 7789 7789 official yes. joy 7789 yes. tune in on youtube make sure you like share and subscribe Tell she's a woman of god and she loves people Come on, let's big up our page and give her all the like in the world. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Blessing. Sister Marcia. Sister Marcia, why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? You, there's nothing you don't love about your husband? Huh? Okay, so just say it. Just say one thing. Okay, so um, how long you been married, Sister, Sister Marcia? Yeah, I don't know. June 40 years. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Well, what's the one thing you love about your husband? That he's very caring. Oh, that is awesome, Sister Marcia. That's all I need. Big up yourself. Yes. So amazing. Look at her outfit, guys. Nice. So this is our power couple of our church. So, Sister Brown, Mother Brown, I would like to ask you two questions. Okay, go ahead. Okay, how long have you guys been married? I've been married for 41 years. Wow, that's a blessed years. That's amazing. So can you like tell? Yesterday. So can you tell me two good things about your husband? What okay. do you like about? My, what do you love about your husband? Number one is handsome, but he's extra caring. 
It's to die for. He's it's just, like oh my her. gosh. He's my lovey dovey. Oh my God. Minister, my oh hair. my gosh. Minister Brown, your question now. <laughs> so he, she already answered the question that you guys are married for 40 something years. So can you tell me two good things that you love about your wife? Oh, she is. She's the love of my life. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I do love her and she, she takes best care of me. All right, yeah. blessing of and blessing. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. And remember to like my channel, to subscribe to my channel, and to share this page. It's called Official Joy 7769. So tune in once again from New Bethel International. This is how we do it. This is our first launch of the marriage ministry. All right, thank you guys. Thank you guys. They're looking awesome. All right, all right, bye.